What is going on guys? This is Chris Time FK7 and today is a very sad day uh, because I'm going to be leaving the FK7 behind. Um, we recently just purchased a house and we're starting to move some things around. My wife uh, will be staying in the new place so she's obviously going to need a car uh, to keep. So I'm giving her the FK7. Um, while I'm still in our old house uh, so basically I'm gonna be dailying the Type R um, now the FK7 is still gonna be on the channel but it's you're not gonna be seeing it for a while Just to give you guys a quick idea of how much space this car actually has, how much stuff that I'm able to carry. As you can see, I have two shoe boxes down there along with other stuff. Um, I have a book and I have this big, huge box. Uh, this is actually a rice dispenser. And if we go over here, I managed to fit my filing cabinet. This is super big and heavy, uh, as well as my coat rack. Well, at least one piece of my coat rack. The other piece is right here. Um, if you guys can see, I secured it with the seat belt. So this is not going to go anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now, if we go over here, this is literally full to the brim. And I have two of these stored. I have a larger one right over here. Larger one right here. I have stuff down there. I, ha I actually have a table in here, uh, which is a really big table, uh, which is right here underneath this blanket. You guys aren't gonna be able to see, but you can see the white thing right there. That's part of the table. Bunch of clothes. This is all my winter stuff managed to fit my printer as well as uh, some more boxes full of stuff so yeah you guys get my point why get a u-haul truck when you can just fit everything in here it closes just like that and if we go over here there's a little bit more space to fit more things but yeah i do have to drive slow to get there uh, because of all the weight that's on the car but this car is a trooper. We'll get there soon. Five hour drive. Let's go. Gas prices are a little bit high these days, so I'm just going to do the mid grade 89 for now. Because it is 40 cents cheaper than the super. $38.93 to fill up 8.6 gallons on the FK7 using mid-grade gas. I've seen worse, but whatever. It is what it is. says that we're supposed to be arriving 12 10 a.m. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can try to cut the time down so my destination is 295 miles away my range is 295 which one is correct and will I have enough gas to make it there just a trip check uh, we're 
an hour and 43 minutes away. Uh, still have 100 miles left to go. But on this right here, uh, it says we have 120 miles left to go. But it seems like we have more gas than what we initially thought. Pretty impressive stuff. And I'm also hauling a lot of stuff in the car. Earlier it was 12.10 the arrival time. Now it's saying 11.43. So I kind of cut down the time uh, about 30 minutes. Okay, trip update number two. It is 10.44. I've been driving for about uh, three and a half hours probably. So we have 43 miles. miles. Take exit 75 for I-70 West toward Wheeling, West Virginia. Shut up, Google. So we have about 42 miles left uh, for our trip. But on our tank, we have 64 miles. Uh, and as you can see, I have just started to use the eco mode, which I didn't think of earlier. Um, but I'm still going about 70 miles an hour, 70 to 80, depending on who's in front of me. Um, but yeah, this car in one tank, in one fill, can reach Pittsburgh, five hour drive, no problem whatsoever. Officially, my gas light just went on it is now saying fuel low uh, we have about 27 miles left to empty it's the first time I've actually seen the gas light lit on this car but yeah we made it to Pittsburgh because as you can see on this map if I can pull it up real quick we are now in Pittsburgh so we went all the way from Philly to Pittsburgh Awesome. All right, guys, it is now the following morning. Uh, again, we are still in Pittsburgh. This car is a trooper. It made it through an almost five hour drive nonstop. For the most part, I was going about 80 miles an hour uh, with heavy load. Um, as you guys might remember on the beginning of the video, I showed you how much stuff the, uh, the car was able to store. This car has so much storage space, but today is a very sad day because we've decided to leave the FK7 behind. Well, I've decided to leave the FK7 behind only because my wife needs a car to use. So I've decided why not leave this car behind while she's here in the new place and I'm in the old place. The reason why I'm staying in the old place is so that you know we can save up a little bit of money to have a little bit more extra spending for the next couple months just in case something happens uh, because obviously new house, new location, I'm gonna have no job. I'm gonna basically start from scratch. Um, so at least we'll have some sort of plan B. Uh, we'll have like a savings to take the funds out uh, just in case, you know, if, if I'm unemployed for uh, a long period of time. So it's good to have that cushion. Um, but in the meantime, while I'm working, the FK7 will be left behind. Again, it is five hours away, so um, I guess you guys won't be seeing any videos of the FK7 uh, for the next couple weeks or next month or two uh, when I finally decide to permanently move into the new house. But at least the FK7 is inside a garage, safe and sound from the elements of the outdoors. And she's already looking beautiful inside this garage. But that just means I'm gonna be dailying the Type R, uh, which, you know, I have no problem with. But again, you know, I, I, I also love this car very much. So, you know, it's a win-lose situation, I guess. I'm actually gonna be leaving early in the morning. Um, my bus to go back to Philly leaves at 6 a.m. So I gotta be there by 5.30, I guess. Um, with the Greyhound bus that I'm gonna be using, um, they said it's gonna be at least six to seven hours to get to Philly, which is, you know, longer than my typical commute by using a car. Obviously there's gonna be like a stopover 
uh, to go to the bathroom and to buy food or whatever. But yeah, in the future, once I move in, the videos will obviously will go back to on schedule. is late March it's actually almost April and um, yeah it's kind of snowing outside it's 42 degrees inside the garage but it's probably a lot colder out there obviously but yeah this is um, a goodbye I guess to the FK7 And just like that, we are now back home. Uh, so it was a pretty long bus ride, uh, but at least I arrived here pretty early. It's about noon um, on this fine day. It is about 28 degrees out, which is unusually cold, uh, especially at this time of the year. And um, supposedly we're gonna get some snow, uh, which again, unusually cold for this time of the year. Usually this time of the year is about like 50 to 60 degrees. Um, but today the high is only 32, so it's like freezing. Now I am gonna be driving this to and from work every single day, um, and I do have three jobs, YouTube being one of them. So I have two other jobs, uh, one full-time and one almost full-time, I guess, because uh, I am doing more than 30 hours on that. It is extremely windy and cold, so I'm gonna go inside the car real quick. Now that we're inside of the car where it's nice and kind of warm away from the wind. Anyways, the FK7 will be absent from the channel for, I guess, a couple of months. Again, until I, I move permanently uh, to Pittsburgh. But anyways, guys, uh, this video is just an update video for you all because I don't want you guys thinking, oh, Chris sold the FK7. No, I didn't sell the FK7. It's just temporarily going to be absent from the channel. I will be doing some more videos on the Type R because obviously, you know, the Type R is the only car I have right here. I appreciate you guys' patience and support for the channel. Uh, I just want to thank you all for that and um, joining me on my journey. I started off literally with a BMW on the channel. That's my first video saying goodbye to my BMW to purchase the FK7. Um, and then not even a year later, we purchased the Type R. Uh, we have 100 plus, 140 plus videos on the channel dedicated to the 10th gen Honda Civics. I don't think any other channel has that on YouTube. So I'm really happy and I'm extremely grateful uh, that you guys, you know, still support this channel until this day. Uh, I've been making videos on YouTube for about a year and a half now. Um, so yeah uh thank you all for watching and accompanying me on my journey i really i really do appreciate it i'm trying not to tear up but <laughs> anyways guys thank you all for watching until next time this is chris time fk7 and peace out